Hey, soccer, it's a sport. Do your kids play? A little bit, actually. They play a little football in the, in the, in the autumn, yeah. yeah. Training. Well, we've got two gentlemen here who know a thing or two about soccer, and they want to change the mindset of coaching and soccer. Joining us this morning, we have Richard Shaw, the Director of Education at the New York Soccer Central, former Syracuse Silver Knight, I might add. Also co-author alongside him, Paul Maris, the UK sports scientist and also a former professional player. Good morning. Good morning, Lance. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so what's wrong in youth soccer today? Well, first of all, I'd like to say the, the, you know, there are many things that are good with youth soccer and constantly we see these things. But you know, during our research, we've been able to highlight many things that one could say that aren't too well and things that we'd like to highlight in the book to help parents understand what should be happening. So why did you write the book, Paul, and, and you have a co-author writing with you? I think really it's to, it's to increase parental understanding about some fundamental concepts uh, within youth soccer. Um, there's, there's a perception out there that winning and team success should take precedence um, and unfortunately um, it's, it's quite a damaging approach um, hence the reason why 70 to 80 percent of young kids are dropping out of the sport um, after the age of 12 so really it was to identify what coaches should and should not be doing with their child. It's a huge disconnect because soccer in the US is very popular up till age 9, 10, 11, 12 then something happens like that yes. and it tails off after and you think it's the way it's it's certainly a contributing factor the winning um, the, the emphasis on winning and, and uh, trophy hunting mm -hmm. um, obviously there's there's other factors that, that come into play yeah. um, video games you know going out with the friends but the the conventional approach as we call it is certainly not helping the situation there are yeah. so many teams out there. There are in travel teams, and it seems like the sport can get really intense mm. at a young age. Yes. What's your view on that? Well, that's precisely what we uh, point out in the material. And one thing that we've experienced over the years is that working with young players, I mean, I've been involved in soccer for, in Syracuse for about 10 years now, and I've seen many different teams, many different organizations, and what we've seen is certain things like for example we'll go and watch games and there's lots of parents and coaches who are yelling lots of instructions mm -hmm. onto the field now that seems like positive support but unfortunately what the research that we've done concludes and it's backed up with lots of different uh, empirical evidence is that it actually hinders the learning and development process i mean for example if you were to go into a classroom and the the teacher gave the kids a math quiz you wouldn't have a line of parents in there and the teacher certainly wouldn't be giving them all the answers. Why? Because it wouldn't help them learn. Yeah. So, you know, w we need to just highlight simple things like that that can be done. And what this book will do is allow parents to understand. And then when they're taking their child to soccer, they can observe what's going on and see if it's actually conducive or detrimental to their child's progress in the sport. Mm. We've got about a minute left, gentlemen. I want to ask you, your accents are from overseas, obviously. Yeah. Is this a societal thing? the way Americans do soccer or Americans uh, do sport as opposed to how they do in the UK um, or is it something now it's because you know what I mean it, like how does it differ from what you went through as a child I, I think to be honest in the UK there's the similarities there um, certainly um, but I think it's 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 amplified in the states I see to a, to a greater extent and I think it is a societal situation that's going on that we need to address not just in youth soccer in all sports, to be, to be mm. quite honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, coaching outside the box, where can we find the book? It's on Amazon.com, and uh, you can go on there. You can actually get a free preview, which is, is good, because the introduction will tell you what the book's about. And, uh, and then there's a little bit more about our background and some reviews on there that have uh, been quite nice. All right, go to New York, uh, NYSoccerCentral.com as well. Yes, that, and that'll tell you about the development all program right. that we're involved Thanks in. Thanks for coming on, right, guys. Thank you.